Macedonia's northern Pelagonian plain was cultivated for thousands of years. It is a cradle of European civilization. Beginning more than 100 years ago, its highland villages emptied and its fields increasingly lay empty. Most of this abandoned and degraded land remains marginal, supporting little biodiversity and sequestering very little carbon. Today, the dominant crop is prilip tobacco, cultivated by half the families in the area on small amounts of land in a labor-intensive process involving little modern technology and all the labor resources of entire families. Tobacco is a lifeline for these communities, but it is not the only choice. This project will help to move all of Europe towards a more sustainable future by decreasing our dependence on oil and applying the aspirations of the European project to show the world how pioneering high technology bioeconomy projects can help people, help the climate, help the environment, and increase global competitiveness. Pelagonia Ethanol is a flagship project to show how 20,000 hectares of abandoned and degraded land and disadvantaged rural communities in Europe can be brought back to life. Pelagonia's partners have worked for years to design a project that all of Europe can take pride in. This is an unprecedented opportunity for us to contribute to Europe's high-tech bioeconomy. Pelagonia Ethanol will establish an entire agricultural sector locally, bringing to the region much-needed modern equipment creating 1,000 jobs directly. We will establish switchgrass on the most marginal land, launching a 20-year proof-of-concept effort to show how carbon sequestration efforts can improve soils. We will plant fiber sorghum, wheat, and other crops on the rest of the land in a way that will improve soil quality, including introducing double cropping of feed and energy crops for the first time in Europe, thereby proving Europe's vast potential to provide both more food for the world and use less of the world's fossil resources. We will construct the world's largest cellulosic biorefinery, creating enough ethanol to shift 25% of all Europe's plastic bottles from fossil sources to bio-based sources. As a result, Macedonia's GDP will increase by more than 1%, and national unemployment will reduce by at least 2%. Pelagonia's ethanol will avert huge amounts of greenhouse gas emissions, and the project's agricultural practices will sequester even larger amounts of carbon. Higher quality food and feed, more jobs, less oil, less greenhouse gas emissions, better lives. So believe in energy security, believe in growth, believe in renewable energy, believe in innovation, believe in rural economies, believe in the promise of Europe's biorefineries.